Interactive Central and Eastern Europe Festival. At its core, I, I think hopefully many of you know about Uber or have seen Uber at this event or, or took note of, of our launch in February. It, it's really basic and the idea is get a, get a ride in 50, 60 countries, over 300 cities in the world today at the touch of a button. What that car looks like, what your uh, driver looks like, the experience, different in every city, different, many different products, many different choices, but at the end of the day, it's about smart, efficient, transparent, digital, and obviously mobile. So our smartphone application is available on you know, all major platforms for free. You create a profile in a matter of minutes with a registered um, credit card, and you can start riding in the city that you live in. I mentioned choice and efficiency, and I think this is one thing that Uber has thought about from the beginning. We've all been through the taxi experience. We all have personal cars. We realize that the car that I need on Friday night when I'm going on a date is not necessarily the same car I want to get to work. It's not the same car that I need when I'm going to Ikea with my family. And Uber has embraced this, I think, uh, just like any other company, introducing more and more options for more and more people to serve the needs of, of everyone in a city. Not just the users, but also the drivers. In, in Bucharest, for example, we've introduced the service UberX. This service, at the touch of a button, connects you to a Toyota Prius, uh, a relatively inexpensive vehicle, safe, efficient, comfortable, driven by a personal uh, driver, someone like you or I, someone who's not a taxi driver, not a limo driver, but a car owner in Bucharest who has spare time and is looking to do something. That premise, I think, is, is an interesting one. As a, as a company, Uber, we have an application connects you to cars, that's, that's relatively straightforward, but who you get connected to is, is really the big opportunity. And we see the personal vehicle market as a massive one uh, that we can leverage. Just like Airbnb is leveraging um, flats and condos and houses which we don't use because we're traveling or not always at home, we are leveraging technology to share assets that we don't use particularly effectively, which is the personal automobile.